welcome to episode three of Running Rant. Today we are in my neighborhood, not traveling far, just going for a stroll. Today's topic of discussion is uh, how fast you can get to know someone as a friend. Wow. Facebook reminded me today, a year ago, I accepted the friend request of a good friend of mine named Lauren. She has been by my side for pretty much the entire year. Just a little background. I met her while I was in New Zealand, and we are both, well, we were both au pairs. She's also American, which is uh, different because most au pairs are usually German, 19-year-old girls who are taking a leap year from college. And, you know, I've met some people who were from Sweden and uh, Scotland, a little bit of everywhere. This girl was American, kind of set her side. Like I said, we were friends on Facebook a year ago. I must have met her a little bit before that. A story I'll get to in a little bit is that I actually saw her maybe a month or two before we ever physically met and uh, found out about it, you know, half a year later. And uh, another thing to know is that one day, you know, we were good friends at this point, but not to the level we are now. She's like, let's go to Japan. And I actually minored in Japanese. Uh, I've been there a few times and I'm like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And then it was brushed aside. Let's go back to that story I said I would tell you all about how I actually saw her well before I ever physically met her. So, I don't know, probably about March, April, there was a huge festival in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand, called Kupa Dupa. I went there and pretty much everybody would go there. One of the craziest festivals I've ever been to. Street vendors, street food, parades, going well into the night and the morning. If you were anybody and you were in New Zealand, especially in the Wellington area, you went to this festival. Now, I captured a lot of it. I met up with some friends, went around and took a lot of pictures. Later on, posted them on Instagram, and fast forward maybe six, seven months down the road, Lauren and I are hanging out. And we're talking about the festival for whatever reason. And she's like, yeah, I was there too. I'm like, oh, well, I was, which was no crazy coincidence. But there's this inside, kind of inside joke, ongoing joke in New Zealand that it's a small place. I think there's something like, what, three million people in New Zealand? Don't quote me. And uh, it's a pretty big place. But most people kind of get together in those uh, few towns. We're hanging out, we look back at our pictures, we're like, hey, I wonder if we were ever with each other or like have each other in our pictures. So pretty much we look back on my Instagram and we see her in the background. It's a little blurry, but it's her coat and she's with her friend who is significantly taller, who wears the same jacket. So there I was. It was one of the craziest moments in that kind of category, like realizing you've met somebody. So yeah, we actually knew each other we didn't know each other, we saw each other beforehand. We met each other about a year ago today. Now, how that day goes is we met up with a group of au pairs. There was like a WhatsApp group, we all meet up. Maybe 20 of us, we all meet up, go to a bar. Some people will click better than others and kind of go off and do their own thing. But you start at one place and you make your way around. Now, I went with my friend Stefan and another friend Leah. We were friends beforehand and went to this together. We met Lauren, who like I said is American. Closer to my age as well than most of these other au pairs. So being where I'm from, close to my age, it was just kind of, you know, natural to hang out. We hang out all day. You know, we go to the bars, we drink. The last train home out of Wellington is something around one o'clock. If you miss that, you can take the first train, which is around six o'clock. Now the bars in Wellington close around four. So that leaves you with two hours just to kind of shoot the shit. Nonetheless, all four of us hang out all night drink, have a good time, go to McDonald's. We end up going to the waterfront. And I knew Lauren was gonna be a good friend because I wanted to jump off about the nine meter, not really diving board, but platform into the harbor. And she uh, told me not to. So thank you, Lauren. I ended up jumping into the harbor just from the side in my SpongeBob underwear. And it was hilarious. We were laughing and it just was fluid not just with her, but with everybody. The cohesiveness was just like no other. That was the first day we hung out. Thought it was amazing, texted her, no response for a day or two. I'm like, okay, that's it. 
she got back to me eventually and pretty much the rest is history. We started hanging out. We would either do crazy day trips or after a while we would just kind of hang out. That was what made it amazing. It was just someone by your side. We ended up uh, doing lots of traveling. Like I said, we planned on going to, to Japan, but I sort of thought that was an empty <laughs> promise I made. Kind of like, hey, if you're down, I'm down, but I didn't think her, take her serious. In the time from July 2018 and March 2019, we traveled a bunch. Sometimes we traveled with a group of people, most of the time we did. Sometimes we traveled just us. I think it's just crazy how you can meet somebody who I met a year ago and I haven't even seen in a couple months. So everything I'm talking about really took place in nine months worth of time. And how close you can get to them and just comfortable. You know, that outer shell of just awkwardness and anxiety with someone new you can just be pushed aside. You can start from scratch. So some of the places we travel in that time were uh, we travel all of the North Island pretty much, a large portion of it in a road trip. Uh, we took a vacation, we went all the way up to Bay of Islands. We did a two week road trip down to the South Island with my friend Amelie, who I spoke of in episode two, and my good friend Stefan from Germany. And we did the South Island road trip, packed car, two weeks. And the amount that you get to know someone, I don't care how well you think you know them, when you do a road trip and you're sleeping in the same tents, you're eating the same meals together for two weeks, pretty much nonstop, you get to know them well. After that, we did a few other small trips around New Zealand, but just by coincidence, our working holiday visa expired about the same time. So that was great. Pretty much, long story short, let's get to it. I leave around March 3rd and I head to Japan, just like I promised her. We go to Japan. We end up going there, live with my good friend Shohei. I've known him for 10 years, but we go to Japan and we live in a Buddhist temple for about a month. We travel Japan a little bit just by ourselves, which was nothing short of amazing. And then we go back to Shohei's house, live with him for a little bit, all right? Now after that, we end up going to Greece, all right? How amazing was Greece, it was fantastic. There's more graffiti there than I've ever seen anywhere, hands down. And I live, you know, near New York. We go to Greece, we see everything there is to see in Greece. We walk pretty much sun up, sun down. We're there for about two days. After Greece, we go to Rome. Same thing, we're in Rome for about two days. And then we go to Florence. We gotta see Statue of David, hands down. Her and I both agree, it was just one of the most magnificent pieces of art I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Funny enough, I know it almost best from SpongeBob, where it's him and Squidward, and he makes the statue of David, and Squidward just puts the, the nose on him. We're in Rome, we see the Colosseum, I mean, we see it all. After Rome, we go to London. All right, now let's go back to Italy real quick. We went to Vatican City, and I ate ice cream and a cannoli at the Vatican City. My grandmother, would be laughing if I told her that. All right, her and I share that moment. Then we go over to London, expensive, but we get to see everything you want to see in London for a few days. Traveling, taking the tube, I think is what they call it. After that, we go to Scotland and meet up with an au pair we actually met um, a little further back in New Zealand. We live with her. She shows us, uh, she's in Edinburgh, which is one of my favorite cities now. And we do that. We do a ghost tour. Then we hop over to Dublin, drive in about five hours to the other side to uh, Killarney. And I live with some family friends over there, right next to the island that Luke Skywalker was actually at. It's called Skellig Island. We travel to New York to drop myself off home. She hangs out with us for a couple days and she goes to a dance Kevin dance concert. She heads home. A month later, I go visit her all the way in Oklahoma, and I got experienced tornado season. It was insane. I guess what I'm just trying to say with all this is everything I just talked about happened in less than a year. It's just kind of cool how you can open up to someone. As long as you are open, you can have a friendship that can just last forever. I literally traveled with this person for well over a month, having very little time apart. All in all, it was just the most amazing experience I've ever had. 
Now, I do think it's amazing after I tell people the story, how much I've done. It feels almost surreal. I couldn't have done all that. That could not have been everything. That couldn't have been all done in a year, but it was, and I encourage you guys. I know it's not always feasible for everybody. It could be day trips or whatever, but explore a little bit, you know? Open your minds, your hearts to other people. And you never know what it's gonna bring you because Lauren was just somebody along with probably 20 other people I saw at the bars that night. And I decided just to kind of spark up conversation and it's been going full throttle ever since. So I'm interested to hear from you guys. Is there somebody that you've met and it could be either overnight, in a week, a month, but a duration of time that you thought was impossible. Did you get to know that person more so than anybody else and get to really connect to them and with them on a completely separate level? Let me know. I'd love to hear from that. Thanks for going out and run with me. And uh, this is Running Rants. Peace.